Hey guys, how you doing? So did you know that Himalayan 450, it has an overdrive gear? And those of you who do not know what an overdrive gear is, I would explain that in a minute. But first, let me start with the benefits of an overdrive gear. When you have an overdrive gear in your motorcycle, your motorcycle runs at a higher fuel efficiency, at higher speeds, with very less to minimum tear and wear on your engine so let's say you're cruising at high speeds your motorcycle and your engine would not be stressed at high speeds see what I just did there it's called wrap matching you need a video about that in details let me know in the comments down below if we get 10 comments on this video about wrap matching I would make a in-depth rev matching video so in order to understand an overdrive gear you would need to know or you would need to have some sense of how the engine works i guess most of you do if you don't let me explain um, not in details but let me just give you an overview so in engine we have a piston that moves up up and down because of the combustion that happens inside the cylinder head and as the piston moves up and down it's connected to a crankshaft um, think of crankshaft as a horizontal road that can spin that can make circular motions which is connected to the vertical position of the piston so as the piston goes up and down the crankshaft rotates in circle in circular motions and then that crankshaft is connected to the transmission system and inside the transmission system we have different sizes of sprockets which are called gear so combination of sprockets is called gear and uh, in the transmission system we have two roads you can say that we have an input shaft and an output shaft and you can think of it like two roads that has different sizes of gears on them so when you ride your motorcycle in the first gear the input shaft has a smaller sprocket that is connected to a slightly larger sprocket and when the piston moves up and down the crankshaft rotates and the transmission the input shaft rotates and that rotates the output shaft so the input shaft is the primary driver inside an engine that rotates the output shaft but when you reach sixth gear they design the sprocket in such a way that the input shaft has the sprocket that has less teeth as compared to the sprocket on the output shaft so your output shaft is spinning faster than the input shaft in the higher gear so when you're in the sixth gear your output shaft is spinning faster and that is driving the engine so your engine is running at a lower rpm as compared to the output shaft and the result of that is your engine has less load on it your engine has less pressure on it it doesn't have to work as much and uh, then you get better fuel efficiency and you get better performance out of the engine it's less noisy and uh, there is very less wear and tear at higher speeds at higher highway speeds so whenever you ride your Himalayan and when you go in the sixth gear above 70 kilometers per hour you are riding the overdrive gear which means your engine is not driving the motorcycle your rear tire is driving the engine and yes it has um, some downsides too for example less engine braking in the sixth gear but in practical scenarios we never use engine braking in sixth gear I mean we always go down to the fifth and as soon as you're in the fifth gear the overdrive function is no longer applicable so um, that is not basically a downside but just I just have I just felt like it's my duty to mention it to you that in sixth gear your engine is running at lower rpm as compared to the output shaft or the rear tire and uh, I think it's a really fantastic um, feature that Himalayan 450 has. It gives you more power 
with a better fuel economy and that's what an overdrive gear is so if you didn't know about it I just explained it to you tell it to your friends who own Himalayan 450 and flex 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 your motorcycle bro already over and out people